We are here today to celebrate the electrifying new public listing of EV Technology Group on the NEO Exchange. EVT Group, listing under symbol EVTG, represents a true innovation economy company thinking about the future, and one that is driven by a CEO's or petrol heads, using his own words, early passion for driving and mission to champion the joy and experience of motoring in an EV world. EVTG is building on a vision to become a leading global luxury vehicle company by working with iconic brands and helping bring them into the electric age. It's been amazing coming from, uh, from what effectively started with an idea where we don't believe that there is really interesting cars being made uh, that are electric, that petrol heads, as you rightfully pointed out, may actually want to drive. So what's been really, really amazing is the, uh, the process that we went through uh, to get listed on the NEO, all the partners involved from your side. Also, I'd uh, like to thank the legal team uh, on our side. And of course, again, police have worked really hard to get this listing done. Um, obviously, this is only the start of what will be a, um, a much longer journey as we try to change um, the electric landscape and try to create products that petrol heads, as you call it, would actually like to drive. Um, as you pointed out, we, we in, indeed started with Moak as our first um, as our first iconic brand that we uh, are electrifying and bringing to market, starting with France in, in the summer of 2022. For me, there's almost no Moak, uh, no, no car as iconic as a Moak, which is also why today I'm sitting in one in our factory to just show how the, um, the progress that the team has made and actually getting this, uh, this, this to market. We could probably get a lot more context to the company itself uh, as we hear a little bit more about EVT Group, EVT Group and why investors should be interested. And uh, we'll turn it back over to, to Wilder for, for closing remarks. Goodwood is one of the most fantastic places to be. Here's where a lot of these iconic brands either have raced, have won, or have had their stories. And that's kind of what we're doing at EVTG. I always wanted to do something in the EV space, which for me is controversial in a sense, because I love cars, I'm a massive petrol head, but I never really found my strategy for the space. Of course, you can spend billions of dollars like Rivian and other players in the space that try to go for mass market, but that's not something that I'm passionate about. The strategy for EVTG really came to me when I was on holiday in Saint-Tropez. A friend of mine, she loves the Minimoke and she wanted to have one for her birthday. So I wanted to get one for her. I spent hours and hours going around to Saint-Maxime, Grimaud, Ramatuel, Saint-Tropez. There was no Minimoke available, no matter how hard I tried. So the entrepreneur in me, you know, I don't mind picking up the phone. I got in touch with the CEO of Moke International and said, your demand is here, your supply is here. How can we make this work together? So two months later, we became the largest shareholder of Moak International and started to help them really grow out the Moak story, bringing the first truly homologated Moak electric into the market for 2022. When I reflected back on what I was doing, the strategy sort of came to me. So rather than spend all these dollars uh, or euros or pounds into trying to create a new car brand with a new infrastructure, we can take iconic brands such as Moke and others and help them make the transition to being electric, kind of bringing the, the joy back in motoring that got lost while we were making this transition to EV. It's great to see from that video uh, what you saw where there were no mini Mokes available that now we have an actual mini Moke that we're coming out uh, with production in, uh, in, in the summer. Really, the first step of our strategy where we electrify iconic brands rather than to try to build uh, brands from the ground up uh, that, is, that is highly, um, highly costly. I think being on the NEOs is one of the, um, one of the first steps here and we look forward to sharing more updates as we make progress both on the delivery front and in, the, uh, and in our Moke France business where we'll, we'll be sending the, the Mokes to customers and I look forward to keeping, uh, keeping everyone up to date. We look forward to seeing what's next for this exciting new technology company 
And this will conclude our market open event today. And on behalf of Neil, again, wishing everyone a great day.